The second principle of resistance is this. Resistance always comes second. And what I mean by that is the dream comes first. If there was no dream, there would be no resistance. So if you have an enterprise, uh, something you want to write, an artistic venture you want to pursue, an entrepreneurial venture you want to pursue, and you're experiencing resistance to it, be encouraged by that. Because what it means is the dream is already there and the resistance is the proof of that. You know, one of the, the sort of visual that I have in my own mind when I think about this is if you imagine a tree in the middle of a sunny meadow, the tree is the dream and the minute the tree appears, the shadow appears. The tree casts a shadow. The shadow is resistance. The tree is the dream. So when you're experiencing resistance, even if it's kind of just a vague form, you're just sort of unhappy with yourself, you're kind of chafing, you don't even know what's going on, it's a good sign because when you, you will not experience resistance unless there is a dream. So the, the bigger the, the, the resistance that you feel, the bigger the dream. So it's a good sign to be feeling resistance because it tells you there's something that your soul is calling you out to do. So put your ass where your heart wants to be and do it.